Today, for the first time ever, with uh, North Macedonia, we held this council here in Skopje. And we wanted to do so in order to show the appreciation for the progress achieved by North Macedonia on its European path. The door for full-fledged membership is now open. To get there, you have to continue moving forward as a country, as a whole society, adopting and implementing reforms that introduce European standards and bring concrete political and economic benefits to the people, to the people here. Improving relations with your neighbors it means including creating the conditions to adopt the constitutional amendments. This year is crucial. North Macedonia has demonstrated a clear and unequivocal support for the European Union for foreign policy and a consistent full alignment with our positions and decisions, including on sanctions against Russia. On the OCE, North Macedonia is also acting in defense of European values, showing once again that North Macedonia is a reliable partner for the European Union. We are strongly engaged in building up your resilience. We have increased our policy dialogue on countering hybrid threats in cybersecurity, including the protection of critical infrastructure. I am happy to announce, we announced during the meeting, that uh, we will provide 9, billion, 9 million euros on assistance from the European Peace Facility to upgrade the equipment of the armed forces of North Macedonia.